Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Proxy by Janitor AI. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. So let's get started. So, in Janitor AI, proxies are used to help the AI connect to external services like OpenAI, Cobol, or other language model providers without hitting ac access limits or IP restrictions. Now, think of pro proxy like a middleman. Uh, it routes your request to an, to the AI provider so your real location or IP address isn't directly seen. So, how do you use uh, a, uh, proxies here? Well, first is first is you want to determine if the AI that you want to edit or use a uh, proxy here is allowed. Now, to be speaking, uh, you could, you'll know that your character or your chat here allows you to use a uh, proxy here. It, they usually add tags for that. So if you're not aware yet, so usually they indicate here if they allow proxies and they have tags if it allows proxies. So yeah. As you can see here now, proxy is allowed, so make sure to check that out first. But let's go ahead and go back here one page, and let's go ahead and click on continue. Now, in here, you want to go to the top right here, click on the tree bar icon, and you want to go to the uh, section for API settings. Now, you want to go to proxy. Now, we want to add a configuration. Let's go ahead and click on add configuration. Now, you need to get the configuration name, model name, proxy URL, and API key. Now, you need to get this from whichever source uh, you are going to or uh, that you want to use. But in for as an example for this video, we'll be using Open Router. Now, in here, you want to go ahead and search for uh, the model. So in my case, I'm going to use DeepSeek here. So you just type in DeepSeek and it's going to scroll down a bit here and just choose whichever you want. Now, by the way, if you just press search here, it's just going to give you different options that you could use. But I like using the search bar here and not pressing enter because it gives me a lot of choices and we want to use the free one because some of them are not free so some of them have like uh, free trials on them so let's go and choose the free one here so we have this one so deep seek uh r1 and what we need to do first is we want to go and copy the section here so this is the model it's going to copy copy water here go back into our api settings and you could go and just add this to model name now you could also add the configuration name here, but you could just add the model name as is if you want. And for the proxy URL here, what you need to do is you want to use the following URL. Now, anything that you get or or whatever uh, proxy that you are getting or details that you're getting from Open Router AI here, you just use the following uh, URL. So I'll be adding this in the description, so make sure to check that out. So let's go ahead and add it in here. And from here, you want to go ahead and uh, add the API key. So how or where do you get it? Go ahead and click on your Open Router account here. By the way, you may need to create your account in uh, Open Router. So if you haven't created your account, create that one first. But you want to go to the top right here in your profile. You want to go to the key section. And you want to go and click on Create API Key. You can go ahead and add whatever name you want. So I'm just going to say Test. And let's go ahead and click on the Create button here. Like I also have advanced options. Now go and copy the API key. Now, by the way, you could save this some somewhere else in your PC because you won't be able to see it again. But let's go and copy this. Go back in here, paste it in here, and go and click on Add Configuration. It's going to say Configuration Added. You go and click on Save Settings here to save your settings. Now you just change API. Do you want to set gener uh, generation settings to open AI uh, support? Go and click on Yes here if you want. And you just need to uh, basically uh, do additional things if it requires to, uh, you to do that. So it might say API not ready, click to set up. You go and click on it and uh, check if there are any issues with the model itself. But if not, you can reload here real quickly. So yeah, so when you're using proxies, make sure to select uh, your proxy here when you open it up. So if it says um, need set up. So you you need to click on it. And by the way, not all proxies may work uh, with your model or the model that you've chosen in here. So you may want to change it. So maybe like choose a different one. So if you go ahead and search for one that may uh, fit or may work for you. So it's going to be a test. A test depending. Uh, you may need to test the different uh, proxies here. So go ahead and choose one that'll uh, allow you to use it. So go ahead and just uh, click on edit here and change uh, the model name here if needed, proxy URL or the API key. But go ahead and click on save changes, click on save settings. You can even like test it just in case, click on test here. But you'll know it's working if you do see the using proxy pop up here. And once you do see that, just reload your page here and just start typing in here. Start typing in here to test out your proxy. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.